So a lot of you guys are experimenting and witnessing what I like to call, or what I'm going to call, nihilistic dating. A lot of you guys have hard, had your heart broken way too much. A lot of you guys have chosen the wrong people to date way too much. So we need to examine uh, in today's video the phenomenon of uh, nihilistic dating and how it affects you and the people around you on a consistent basis. Because this is an, an important insight that you guys need to understand that you're going through if you're trying to date in today's world. So nihilism in all in all, right? You kind of just see no good in the world. Um, you just kind of, um, you're pretty much the ultimate negative person. You feel like everybody has some kind of hidden ulterior motive. No, there's no good people in the world. You just see everything is negative. That's the nihilistic point of view. You're like, what's the point of all this, right? So I was watching a recent uh, podcast and a guy brought up a good point. A lot of you guys are worried about body count, but you need to be worried about love count because you can run out of love to you. And some of you guys uh, are witnessing this on social media when you hear men and women complain about these certain things. So let me give you guys an example of a nihilistic person or uh, somebody that's kind of burnt out of doing good deeds. So I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, the, Mad, the, um, the Mad King. But the curse of the Mad King, it starts off as the guy, the king, is a very giving king, very respectable, altruistic, gives people more than he should. And then after a while, the people take his goodness for weakness. And then they, uh, for instance, they will betray him. One instance specifically, he got betrayed and then he um, went to prison and put in jail after he broke out. He became a mad king and he distrusted everybody. And ultimately, anybody that wasn't on his side, he ended up taking out through brute force. Now, we have a different kind of phenomenon of a mad king. We got mad women out here dating. We got mad guys out here dating. So a lot of you guys don't understand that you're capable of having your heart broke too much. This creates um, problems for you. So you start, this is why you start to get people generalizing about men and, and women. You see it on both sides. You see the guys are all the same. Women are all the same. Well, is that actually really true? Actually, it's not. It's not very true. But the, somehow the people, you keep picking these people that have these dark dyad or dark, dark triad traits that you fail to recognize and understand. So, which leads me to my next thing. These bad experiences keep leading you to a bias. You keep going in a bias just simply because you can't identify the, the right person the right traits and the right person, the right personality traits, right? Um, guys, if you haven't witnessed this, then you need to witness this. If you haven't um, got this knowledge, you need to understand this quickly. Whenever you go on a date or whenever you go on the first few dates, uh, the person is displaying their representative. It's not the real them. It's kind of like the iceberg. You know, you only see the iceberg for what it is. It might be a small piece of ice on the top of the water, but underneath, it's a whole lot of stuff that you cannot see. And you'll hit it and you'll crash, right? And that's what you guys are doing. You're selecting wrong people. And you're generalizing after you get hurt, right? And so... 
you've been hurt so many times. You're like the mad king. You, you've been hurt so many times that you generalize a specific gender and you ultimately run out of love to give. The bad people have um, successfully drained you of your resource of giving gifts, giving love, giving certain things. And so that's why when you get into relationships with certain people, they just seem angry. They just seem, they already have a, um, prejudgment. They're already got their guards up because they've, they've had the same ending over and over and over again. And now at this point, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They think this is going to end. They think you're going to cheat on them like the other people did. They think you're going to lie on them like the other people that they did. And they self-sabotage situations. They self-sabotage uh, relationships unknowingly or knowingly. Why? Because they have ran out of love to give. And that's a dangerous place to get to because you start getting into this nihilistic dating thing. Right, which is very dangerous thinking when all you have to do is learn how to read people, learn how to read the bad signs. Stop ignoring the bad signs. People are gonna tell you who they are. Listen, see it for what it is. See you guys and you women, you uh, you see a tall guy with money and you're like, oh man, let me just ignore all the red flags. You see a big button and smile. You say, oh man, let me ignore all the red flags. Guys, do not ignore the red flags. And of course, this bird is going ape shit right now. Uh, so what are, you, what are you dealing with on today's world? What are you dealing with in today's society? See, you have a, a few things going on at the same time. You have dating fatigue, love burnout, and damaged goods. Dating fatigue, you guys have just went on so many dates. You've been on so many uh, in relationships that you're just fatigued, right? You have a paradox of choice. You can't pick the right person because you got too many options. And it's overwhelming you. That's one side of it. Now you got the love burnout people people that are um, easily persuaded, easily manipulated, easily used over and over and over and over again. Now you have a negative side, a negative thought, a negative experience when it comes to dating. You're like, screw all this stuff. It's not worth the investment, right? But you have to ask yourself, don't you want to be into a relationship? Don't you want to have a marriage? Don't you want to get or have kids? But you've used up your resource of love. And to get to maintain a relationship, you guys both have to bring value to each other. It can't just be a one way street. Right? If one person is doing all the giving and one person is doing all the receiving, after a while, the giver will feel like he's being used. So damaged goods. I mean, I talked about this a little bit earlier. Um, I talked about the little body count piece, how love count matters more than the body count. But guys, the body count does matter. A person's past does matter. I mean, you don't want... Uh, um, adult film star as your wife when she's on the internet doing sexual acts with other men, right? So body count does matter. You don't want somebody that's been ran through. That's disgusting. And it won't last because she's going to cheat on you or he's going to cheat on you in the end because he's known or she's known for being promiscuous. So Ultimately, guys, and this is the thing you have to realize, the way society, the media, feminism has told you about the opposite gender, it's all a lie. Society 
has lied to you about how to go about relationships, how to do certain things. They say it's a rigid way. You have to get married. Well, you don't have to get married. There's some people that are in long-term relationships with functioning relationships that are not married. There are some that are married. Some are polygamous, where they have multiple wives. So it's not one size fits all for everybody. And you have to realize that and understand that. Each and every person you encounter is a different person with different value systems. And you have to get, that's one of the hardest things that you have to do when it comes to finding a good partner is finding somebody that lines up uh, close, not perfectly, but lines up pretty close with the values and the things that you like, the attractiveness, personality, uh, lifestyle, all those different things have to line up. So I just wanted to come in and tell you guys about this little nihilistic dating um, phenomenon that I'm starting to understand and that kind of exposed me with this new video I was watching this morning. So you guys have a good day, good week. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Love, peace. See ya.